Mercedes has rolled out its new CLS. It's a study in elegance, perhaps even more than the newly designed front section. The rear, with sharp edges and lines all but eliminated, is an eye catcher. The body is an expression of what Mercedes calls its sensual purity design idiom, which once gave rise to a new segment, a blend of coupe and sedan. Car tester Reinhold Deisenhofer remembers how thrilled he was when the first CLS hit the market in 2004. It was a paradox, a coupe with four doors. The definition of coupe is, after all, a carriage built for two, so it only needed two doors. The driver sat in the open air, but the CLS changed everything. And now it's going into the third generation. We tested the all-wheel drive version, the CLS 454 Matic. A minimum of 270 kilowatts or 367 horsepower pulls this cutting-edge carriage from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.8 seconds. This model gets an extra nudge from a 16 kilowatt electric motor, the EQ Boost, which recuperates energy for the battery. As with all CLS variants, the power is put to the road through a 9G Tronic automatic transmission. Typically, Mercedes is the single chrome slat grille broadening toward the base, while the front section appears to slant forward. On request, the CLS can be fitted with multi-beam LED headlights with adaptive high beams. At 40 kilometers per hour and faster, they put out the maximum intensity permitted by law. The Matrix LED system targets the high beam to specific areas so it won't blind oncoming traffic. The arching roof line ends in a spoiler on the trunk lid, with the tail lights fitted seamlessly into the body. Reynolds says when it comes to luxury, this isn't quite as opulent as the S-Class. Outside, the CLS isn't as brawny. Inside, it's nice and airy, partly thanks to air vents borrowed from the S-Class. Turning up the heat makes them glow red. Turning it down, they glow blue. It's a fun detail, just like the massage seats and the steering wheel from the S-Class. And natürlich das Lenkrad aus der S-Klasse. The CLS Coupe's sumptuous interior continues the flowing contours of the exterior. A choice of high-quality materials reinforces the upscale feel. The ambient lighting system's choice of 64 colors invokes something of the modern lounge atmosphere. The air jets are meant to recall jet engines. Reinhold says this CLS is at its newest and back. Now, the rear seat accommodates not just two, but three passengers, so a total of five people can go along. Aside from the red and blue glowing air vents, the digital displays have also been spiffed up here and there. Now, they appear in different colors depending on the drive mode. The low profile hasn't demanded too many sacrifices on the practicality front. The rear seat can be folded down in three sections. As far as Reinhold's concerned, the Predator front and rear make the CLS a completely new car. It has something of the E-Class's style and the S-Class's elegance, as it was intended to. Its closest competitors are the Audi A7 and, of course, the Porsche Panamera.